What is up photographers and other Lightroom users? Super excited you guys are here in today's video. We're gonna be talking about some Lightroom organizational strategies. We're talking about the best and most effective way to organize your Lightroom catalog so that you don't have photos that are getting lost and can't find your photos, you can't figure out uh, the organizational thing in Lightroom. It, organizing in Lightroom is a huge pain if you don't stay on top of it, but I'm gonna show you guys in this video how you can go about organizing your catalog. If you need to make a new one, start from scratch. Spend the weekend making your new catalog, bringing the new photos in. Uh, if your catalog is not too bad already, you can make a few minor tweaks to organize it just the way that I do. This is probably the most common thing that I see in my clients is that their Lightroom catalogs are just so horribly organized that it's really hard to find where your photos are. So I'm going to show you guys the most easy and effective way that I like to organize my Lightroom catalog. Let's go ahead and jump right in there onto Lightroom. Here we go, guys. All right, so I'm in here in Lightroom. I'm gonna show you guys how my catalog is organized, which is exactly how I would recommend you do yours. You can see my catalog has about 3,000 photos already. You might have a lot less, you might have a lot more. If your catalog has a lot more, and you need to fix it to be like this one. It can be a little bit difficult, but if you spend some time reorganizing, or you can even make a new catalog and import those photos from the old catalog into the new catalog to organize it. So I wanna show you guys how that would be done. So first things first, what you guys need to avoid that I see all the time is people that use folders here. This is a terrible way, a terrible way to organize your Lightroom. Uh, and essentially what folders is, is that you're gonna look at wherever your photos are imported, which on mine, they're on an external hard drive, which is what I'd recommend. And they're in this raw folder and they're segmented by years. So let's say I wanted to go into the 2020. And these are all the days that I have photos from. I see a lot of people using this and they'll try and find the photos they're looking for by just going to the date. Don't do that, trust me. That is just a terrible way to do it. That's not the best way to organize your photos. Um, it's really hard to find photos in here because if I'm like, oh, I wanna see photos at Crater Lake, but I can't remember what day I went to Crater Lake, I'm gonna spend hours flipping through folders here. However, this is how I import my photos, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. So don't use folders. In fact, I leave this closed down 100% of the time. I never open folders here. Instead, what you're going to use is called collections, which are essentially just like folders, uh, but they're only stored in Lightroom on the Lightroom catalog. They're not stored on your hard drive. So if you were to like, say, go to a different software or something like that, your photos wouldn't be organized like this anyways. But um, you guys are probably just going to keep using Lightroom like I do. So organize it this way. So essentially what I have, let me close these down here is I have four collection sets. Now a collection set is a large, um, let's just pretend like it's a large drawer. You open that drawer and there's folders inside. The folders inside have photos. So these are the large drawers, the biggest thing that you can make. You create a collection set by clicking uh, create collection set. I mean, you can name it. You can put a collection set inside of a collection set just depending on how organized you wanna be. But this is how I would recommend setting yours up. Set up four collection sets. Do one that's for editing, so photos that you haven't edited yet. One that's for finished files, photos that have been edited. One that's for other, which is gonna be your place for like if you do like a product shoot or you like take some photos of yourself or of your girlfriend or whatever, put that in other. And then you have one for portfolio where you just put your portfolio images. Now, within each of these, you're going to have an additional collection. So within editing, I have a few more. I have one, a specific folder for Milky Way. I have my track Milky Ways in there. I have a specific folder for review. Um, this is a smart collection, which we're not going to talk too much about. I don't want to confuse you guys too much. Uh, but uh, if you do want to know more about this, look up smart collections. There's some interesting stuff you can do there. Then I have my unsorted and my working files. So working files is where I've got files that I've started working on, but I haven't finished. Unsorted is where I just dump all my photos right after I import them. I throw them right into unsorted here. And then when I want to come in here and I'm like, okay, I want to look at my photos from Death Valley. I can scroll through here, click around and do whatever I want with it. I can edit it. I can move it from here, whatever. So let's say that I finish a photo. Like let's say this photo is finished. Uh, I don't want it unsorted anymore. So what I can do is I can actually open finished files, which is this folder right here. This has all my finished files in it. So within here, I have finished files and then I have all the states that I visit. You can organize this any way you want, um, but I just like to do it by state. So if I'm like, oh, I want to see photos from, let's say, Escalani, Utah. I can go open at Utah, go to Escalani, and I could click 
the Escalani folder. It's going to have all my Escalani photos in it. Now, once you're finished with a file, this is a photo from Death Valley. So let's actually open California where Death Valley is. And I have a Death Valley folder. I can click and drag this and watch as this number changes from 109 to 110. Just like that, we put the photo in there. Now we can delete this photo from our unsorted collection. And just like that, we've moved the photo. I'm going to undo that. Um, but that's how you move photos around. Now, so you've got our editing here. With inside editing, we've got these subfolders. So you could make an editing collection and then, or a collection set rather, and then you're going to create a new collection. And you can call this, uh, just like I do, unsorted. Oops, can't spell today. Unsorted. Put it inside of a collection set, inside of the editing collection set. So it goes inside there. And then if you want to sync with Lightroom, you can. That's, again, a song for another time, but that's a possibility. And then you can hit create, and it'll create that new folder in there. So it works really, really nicely. Finished files, same thing. If you want to create something new in California, let's say we're going to create a collection set inside of California. Let's say that I go to, like, San Francisco, San Francisco. And then I could just click create. And now you can see it created a San Francisco folder here in California. So really, really easy way to organize your photos. And then again, I have other, which is just where I have some personal photos and stuff that I maybe don't necessarily pertain to landscape photography, or maybe they do, but I just don't want them in my regular uh, collections here. And then I've got portfolio. Portfolio is where I have the stuff that goes on my website. I like having a folder where I can say, these are the photos that are in my portfolio that are on my website right now. So I can easily see that, or if someone wants to see my portfolio, I can pull this up on my phone, on my computer, whatever. So that's all great. That's how I organize it by collections. You can easily find your photos through there. Uh, of course, you can always go to all photographs and just scroll back. And these are in the, they're sorted by capture time. You can change this if you want, uh, but capture time is usually the best way to go. Now, where people get lost a lot of times is importing photos. Uh, if you are running a Lightroom catalog and you have a bunch of exclamation points by your photos, that means that they're lost. Lightroom doesn't know where the photos are. So the way Lightroom works is it doesn't, Lightroom doesn't actually hold your photos. Lightroom is a catalog that basically tells, um, you're telling Lightroom, hey, my photo is right here. Lightroom loads a preview in Lightroom and then edits the preview. But if you wanna actually export the photo, Lightroom has to know where is that photo so I can grab that photo, apply my edits, export the photo. So you need to have good practice while you're importing so that Lightroom always knows where your photos are. I'm going to show you guys an example. When you go to import photos, you're going to click import here. I've already got my card plugged in here. I've just got some photos that I shot of my fiance the other day. Um, here's the photos. Now, you want to make sure these are going to the right place. So I highly, highly recommend... Uh, how you guys import your photos is on a external hard drive. Now here's an example of my external hard drive. I've got a couple things on it. I've got like commercial shots, my video courses, and then YouTube stuff. All that you guys need to have on your external hard drive is a folder that says Lightroom. Within that folder, have your catalog and everything else put right in here. And then you can, this Lightroom settings folder will be automatically generated by Lightroom. And then with the, create another folder that says like landscape or whatever kind of photography you do. And then inside of that, there's going to be another folder that auto generates that's called the raw or you generate the raw folder basically. And then within that raw folder, you've got years and days. Now you do not have to make the years and days, just make the raw folder and be done with it at that. Now, the cool thing is when I go over here, when I'm importing my photos, so let's say I'm like, okay, I want to export this to my external hard drive, have it organized by date and do this as the date format, or you can do whatever date format you want, but whatever you do, keep it consistent, always keep it the same, so you don't have to adjust these settings. So you're gonna come down here on your external hard drive, you're gonna say, okay, I want it in the Lightroom folder, okay, I want it in the landscape folder, and I want it in the raw folder. Stop right there, do not click any further, uh, even though you know the date of these photos, don't click down and say, okay, I know these were taken on 6.11 and 6.12, because if you do that, then it's gonna create subfolders below that. So all you have to do is click raw, and then Lightroom will automatically throw those photos into a date in the correct year. So again, none of these date or year folders I've created, they're all automatically created by Lightroom when I've imported the photos. So that's exactly what you wanna do. Uh, and then you wanna click import. I like to go up here, build smart previews and minimal previews. And then you just go ahead and click import, let those load in. 
That'll take just a second. And then once they load in, you will be able to easily add those to your unsorted file. Just to speed this up, I'm just gonna cancel the import here just so we only have a few photos. And I'm gonna let it build the smart previews really quick. So now we've got our three photos. As soon as they import, so maybe you have a lot of photos, you're gonna let them import, it's gonna take you a while. Um, now what you can do is click all these photos. So you can do Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC to select all. Click and drag these into unsorted. Now the photos are out of previous import, they're in a collection, so you have them to work with. Now you can go in here, edit them, put them in finished files wherever you want. Now that's all fine and dandy, but what are you gonna do if your catalog is already like too far gone? So if you've got photos that are like maybe on your computer, or they're on another hard drive and you wanna import them, you can do that as well. You're simply just gonna hit import. You're gonna find where the photos are on the left side. So the only other place I have photos is let's say in my full backup drive here. Um, it's gonna be the same photos, but just as an example, I can show you. So we have photos in this 2020 subfolder and okay, let's find these ones, perfect. Uh, from Crater Lake, I will import these photos. Now what you wanna do, uh, instead of copying photos to a new location and add to catalog like you normally do when you import, you're gonna click move. So all this is gonna do is move these photos out of this folder, the source on the left. It's gonna move those photos into your external hard drive, which is exactly what you want because you want to get all your photos in the same place on the same hard drive. So you're gonna use move, really, really easy to do. Um, I highly recommend using this feature because you have to stay organized. I can't tell you how many people I've looked at their catalog and it's like photos are in every which direction and Lightroom doesn't know where this photo is and they have this great photo but they don't know where the original file is. So stay on top of things, stay organized and use this move tool to fix up your catalog. If you need to spend this weekend just fixing your catalog, seriously sit down, say I'm gonna take this whole weekend and clean up my catalog, make it look nice, make it organized. You guys will seriously be so, so happy that you did. All right, well that is a wrap. Hopefully this was super helpful for you guys to be able to organize your Lightroom catalog. Of course, if you have any questions about organizing your Lightroom, uh, please drop them down below. I'm more than happy to answer them. If you guys have another really nice way to organize, feel free to let me know. I'd love to hear how you guys are organizing your catalog if you are organized. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video. As always, we're here every single weekend. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you can see my videos every single weekend. Really appreciate you guys checking it out. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.